Could you tell us some of the levers of cost reduction? Sure. Uh, sure. As, um, as we think about cost reduction, uh, we'd like to think of cost reductions in terms of levers organizations can pull. So what's a lever? It's a, it's a technique, essentially, to apply and to be able to take the cost out of the organization by restructuring, by changing the way the organization works or the work is done. Uh, one common, perhaps too common, a lever is outsourcing. Right? Uh, as people, companies outsource some of their work to a, a provider, they can reduce their employee headcount and per, ideally they reduce their uh, cost of performing that work too. Another lever I can give is uh, the classic process improvement techniques or uh, automation, right? improving uh, the way processes work by automating them. Another lever is going to be around uh, going after your sourcing, I'm going to call it strategic sourcing, uh, going after the services or the products you buy from outside and can you buy them cheaper, better, more effectively, more efficiently. So those are the types of levers um, that organizations can pull. We have nine levers that we discuss in the, in the book. The way we like to think about it is there's a, so these nine levers, there are two elements to them. The one is that uh, they come at different l levels and b by that what I mean is some levers question what the company does. So business portfolio optimization or zero basing your capabilities. It is about what you do as an organization. What are the products, services, customers, markets that you serve? And what are the capabilities that you prioritize and deprioritize? And by changing those, you can affect an organization's cost structure significantly. A second order of levers are around where you do things. Where, you, where in the organization you do things, or where in the world, where, what geography do you do those things. So we talk about an operating model as a lever that talks about how companies standardize or customize their work, or centralize or decentralize their work. Do they then uh, consolidate, or do they just embed work in different parts of the organization? By changing the way they look at it, what's standard, what's shared, what's embedded and not, it can unlock a lot of cost-saving opportunities, uh, scale opportunities, consolidation opportunities, or outsourcing, offshoring, or footprint optimization. Where in the world are your offices or your manufacturing plants located? Are they close enough to the customers? Are they located in the right places with access to, say, raw materials or uh, customer segments or uh, employee base, talent base? And then a third set of levers is around how or how well are things done. So this is where process improvement or automation or sourcing comes in place. And it, these levers talk about execution of the, the work that you're performing. So going from the top to what you do, to where you do it, to how you do it, uh, we then say, do these all at the same time, as much as possible, right? You address what you do, then you address where you do it, and then you address how well you do it. By combining all these levers, it's a force multiplier. They work much better together. If you go aggressively, you can reduce your cost by 25, 30, 35%. And that might be quite aggressive in some cases, but uh, pulling those levers in concert with each other in the right ways can enable an organization to reduce their cost structure significantly. So some executives choose to take it to the bottom line, and others may also reinvest some of it back into the growth, into the company.